Hi Leo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo. The message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one on one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way, you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And you can also go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I've just been posting more stuff on quantum physics over there. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Let's dive in here, shall we? Shall we? Ah, I was seeing the Emperor. I'm not even lying. I saw your card come out too, the strength card, but I put it back in because there was too many popping out. Well, isn't that crazy? I'm going to take these four. Please forgive me. Okay. Because if, I don't know, it feels a little bit weirdly synchronistic that it's kind of, there's like two, oh, there's a fourth here. <laughs> I can't even see that one. Oh, well, this is good, Leo. Look at this. Some of you guys are either dealing with your mother or father, or this could be you as a coupleship. Is this you in a partnership? My gosh, that is a power couple and a half. So we've got the Emperor and the Empress, and then we have the Maiden of Wands and the Maiden of Cups. So uh, this could legit be family healing. This could be a part like a couple with two children or two pets. I don't know. There's something here where there is healing happening in this dynamic. Okay. I don't know what was going on there. If there were some issues, like this is a very nurturing energy. There's some hope or healing that's happening. Something is coming into harmony or balance. Um, especially if there's been some conflict there. So there's the Maiden of Wands there. What an interesting random message. Like this is, this is such a weird thing to me. Okay, Leo. Um, yeah, this could be something about couple relationship and a couple of different energies there's some hope being restored here there's some things happening very positive yeah i think there's been uh what an appropriate freaking card i'm gonna grab this first one actually this one too surrender makes sense too but i'm gonna keep it kind of in the same boat surrender and allowing okay so just remember that that came out but i'm just gonna keep it for for my own sanity all right so i feel as though you've been dealing with a person that's maybe been rigid or stubborn stubborn in a particular way and that could be some type of energy that's been around you in some way shape or form so there it is oh these are hilarious because you have allowing and flexibility and look at this so this could be something here about energetically this is literally the way that i've seen these energy manifest so i get the sense that there's this person here that's maybe a little bit more flexible and this almost seems like yeah it could be children too i'm not gonna discount that but i want to focus on the archetypes or a little bit of the split energy because you've got two people here that are interacting there's like a high level of the entanglement between these two people, it's mainly highlighting the archetypes that are underneath the surface. So this could be a little bit more innocent side of both energies. So fire, and then we have water empress. This one, this is crazy. This one's a little bit more flexible, I want to say. So which is kind of typical of the feminine, whether these are male or female, this energy is maybe a little bit more flexible, emotional, sensitive, this energy is quite a bit more fiery, maybe a little bit rigid because it's like the emperor, like my way or the highway knows best. So there could be something happening, a shift in this dynamic, maybe some healing happening from this whole situation. Because it could be that you kind of crossed energies here with the Maiden of Wands and the Maiden of Cups. There could be a little bit of some underlying energies and underneath the surface that were being highlighted. 
This is from your childhood, though, because the, you know how I was talking about children, so this could be something here about inner child, that this is a little bit of the split um, archetypal energy that exists within you and within, an, within another person that you're dealing with, okay? What's very interesting is I can see here that there's like, there's a newness to this. So you come, this could be a new connection. It's very possible for some of you, or you're currently dealing with a relationship right now, but the interaction, there's like new energies that are coming in at this point. This could be a new action here, or maybe a new progressive like enthusiasm or spark of energy on this side. And this side is maybe feeling a little bit more creativity, youthful, like there, this is positive news. This is some, maybe even some form of assistance that you're either giving to someone or someone is giving to you, which is super exciting. So I feel as though there's an attachment that's being made at this point. And I feel like this kind of also goes down to the attachment styles that you had developed in your current, in your relationship with your parents. And so the one caution that I want to make about this, since we have that attachment card, is that if you had a parent that was maybe emotionally distant and that's starting to manifest in a connection, like let's say you come across a new person and they say, they're not ready or they just want freedom. I think that it's good for you to be honest with yourself and say, okay, I'm not going to chase after this person's emotions and I'm not going to try to convince them that my love is the best thing for them. I'm going to honor where they're at and not fall in love with an illusion and I'm going to see things as they are and I'm going to focus more on myself and what's coming up in the moment because I can see that there's like an emotional response or an emotional reaction where I think that maybe there's there's like, there's some fire here and definitely some emotions that are coming in at this time. There even could, for some of you guys, be a little bit of some sexual energy, which doesn't surprise me with the snakes. It's all about this attachment. So this could be a bit of a kundalini awakening energy, but there's a transition that's happening. But I wonder too, see the mandible there. There could be a little bit of, I want to say it's the emperor here. Because there's one energy that maybe feels a little bit more flexible and the other one's possibly a little bit more rigid, okay? Like a little bit more immovable, but the transition is coming. So I can see here that there's possibly a person maybe taking a risk or there's a person here going through a transition currently. There's another person here that's maybe feeling attracted to that or wanting the same thing. And they're trying to allow the connection to come in. Do you know what I mean? It could be some, oh, it's a lot of interesting things that I'm getting from this. It's honestly, it's a little too much for me to keep up with. <laughs> okay, let me dive into this. But this person feels like the power of the connection for sure. King of, oh, yikes. Okay, I don't like that. So we have the devil and the king of pentacles. That's Capricorn and then Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So we've got somewhere in the mix here. I feel as though, okay, so temperance is the first card out, Leo. And I'm going to say that's you. Like, you could be trying to get emotionally balanced from dealing with some type of a codependent relationship you could have had a particular person that like um was maybe controlling or manipulative with generosity or money it could have been a transactional manipulation and you've been trying to yeah tame that beast <laughs> yeah this has caused a lot of like struggle i feel like this is kind of some type of fear that you keep dealing with in some type of situation that's what you're coming into emotional balance with okay maybe confronting a fear within yourself some of you guys you could have had some fear triggered from this particular connection because someone could have been legit toxic or you know king of pentacles to me <laughs> Um, that could be a straight up little Harvey Weinstein. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I try to paint the archetypes as much as possible because it's someone that gives generosity with an expectation, you know, like that's the transactional manipulation. That's just like one form of it, but it's like, it's not, it's f with the intention of control. Look at, you have the sun coming in though. So there's your card. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be staying positive through this situation. You're going to be strong. 
because you've got all these major arcanas that are coming in to balance out that devil energy. So it could even be your own shadow that there could have been something about you that was like maybe afraid to step into the next level of your own maybe financial independence or maybe becoming a business owner or something that you wanted to do financially with maybe more financial independence. So you could have, if you had some fears that were coming up to the surface, the energetic entanglement brought this particular person in and could have seen a, you in a vulnerable state and unconsciously or consciously took advantage of you probably a little bit more consciously okay not gonna lie because this person could be all about like attaining material wealth or maybe is a little bit more materialistic or it could just be straight up a person that is obsessed with work you know like obsessed with accomplishing obsessed with climbing the ladder to success and reaching material fulfillment which that is what it is. Okay, you're going to receive some form of communication here, just FYI. Um, whatever comes in, whatever this communication that comes in, because, sorry, I'm not even explaining the cards. There is a message, there's a communication that's coming in. It might make you question, or you might, like, be faced with a choice to make. It could be that this person is offering something to you, because you have the Knight of Pentacles, Yeah. So that's what I can see here in your mind, trying to make a choice between it. Should I choose this one or that one? Because this person is coming in with an offer. Maybe because they see that you're in this placement. I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's just kind of flowing. You could be in this place where you're not quite at a king. So someone could be coming in possibly as an investor or someone is like coming in with some form of an opportunity or like false generosity. Be cautious of that because there could be some form of an attachment that this person is trying to form with you that I'm not the biggest fan of, okay? Not at all. I always get really cautious when I see the devil with the king of pentacles because I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, someone like a compensatory narcissist or, you know, like, don't get me started. But final outcome here, you have the two of wands. So there could be some form of travel that's coming in. But I think also you're going to have, you don't have to rely on this King of Pentacles. Just know, because it might seem like they hold this opportunity, but you, if you feel something is off, trust it. Okay. Because we have this whole Empress energy and what you're learning at this time is to pretty much, no, 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 no. Get off the bed. Get off the bed. Off the bed. Rascal. Come on. Off the bed. Sorry. So yeah, that's what I can see here is like through this process, what you'll want to do is come into your own power, which is the emperor and the empress. And you do that by remothering, reparenting yourself, refathering yourself. And you do that through alchemy. Okay. It, some of you guys could be starting your own business. Not going to lie. There's a huge emphasis on that with emperor, empress, and king of pentacles or something about managing or more responsibilities. And typically when you're going into more, when you're stepping up into the next level of self-mastery, if you have a lot of fear or you're resisting it, nine of wands, then you will, that fear, that chemical based fear will attract you to another person that's fearful and controlling on the surface and will try to control your energy out of fear so that's what you always have to realize as you are up leveling page of wands though there's a newer message energy coming in here it's that two of wands oh there's an energy here there's a message coming in here from a, another person oh it might make you turn the wheel in a different direction look at this Look at that. You have the wheel of fortune there. There's going to be another energy. So don't settle. I feel as though you're going to put a completion to possibly some type of devil energy and you're going to move into something new. There's the wheel of fortune. Six of wands. Someone else holds an opportunity here that would maybe put you in the spotlight and it's going to turn the direction of your life in a, in a completely different direction. So hold out for that energy. Okay. Because I think that one holds... Maybe a little bit more true potential for you, okay? So I'll dive into the extended. I'll see if there's anything else. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below. Click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.